Hello friends, we are in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 today. It's a very short chapter, and basically Paul in the last chapter is saying, you know, how much he wanted to see them. He called him the, the Thessalonians his his joy and his and their and his glory. You know, he he sees the the church in Thessalonica as as something that he's very, very proud of. Because the church in Thessalonica essentially has gone through a lot and they still have the faith and so that's what this chapter is about he's saying you know i told you that that you know affliction is part of part of this for us like that we are going to be afflicted and that we're going to continue to be afflicted and so he's he's telling the church and not only that's true of us but that's true of you now i think that's important that that we note that that's true about us too <laughs> You know, if you are called to be a Christian, you know, if you want to go down this road, I, I feel like when I was young, I used to think that if you were a Christian, that means that God would take care of you and, and, and make it so that everything in your life would be really great. And, and on top of that, you can go to heaven when you die. But it's not really like that. You know, it, it, it's partially like that. But... If you choose to be a Christian, you're really choosing to be afflicted for, for what you believe. If you really stand up for what you believe, if you live the Christian life, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be difficult. And the, <laughs> the better you live the Christian life, the more difficult it will probably be. When Paul went to Thessalonica, he was there for a very short time. I think it was about three weeks. And then they were kicked out. And then they went on to, to Athens and then they sent back Timothy. And Timothy was there for a little bit and he said, you know, after I could stand it no longer, I needed to know how the Thessalonians were doing. And he got word back that they're doing great. That, that when Timothy did go, go back, he established them in the faith. Now I think that's important. You know, if, if you if you are truly living the Christian life, when things in your life happen, I don't know what it could be, anything. You know, I, I hear so many people, they say, I went through this thing and I couldn't believe in God anymore. But then I hear other people that say, I went through this difficult thing and I held fast to God with, with all my might. <laughs> and if you are someone who is who's rooted in love, who's rooted in your faith, you know, you're going to be the latter. You know, when you go through hard times, it's going to, it's going to draw you closer to God, not farther away. So he's saying that the church in Thessalonica, it did that. You know, they were they were afflicted. They were they were oppressed by the, by the government there for for their beliefs. And he's just saying just how joyed he is that 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 they are there, you know, that they are established, that they still have the faith. And then he says a prayer for him at the end. Now this is kind of highlighting the the end of a section here. And so he's saying He's praying first, and maybe, maybe the main prayer of this is, is that God would lead them to be together. He wants to see the, the Thessalonians again. And then he prays that they would continue in their faith all the way until the end, you know, so that God, so they might be with God someday. And I, I guess for anybody watching this, I would pray the same for you. I really do. I, I prayed that before before I made this video. So anyways, that is 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. Have a great day. Bye.